Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about some examples of push-down automat. We have already covered two videos on examples and this is the third one in the set of those videos. Today we will be covering three push-down automatas A and B and such that N, N is less than M that is number of A is less than number of B and N M is greater than or equal to 1. Next is A and B M such that N is greater than M that is number of A is greater than number of B. And the third one is A and B and C M D M. That means number of A is equal to number of B and number of C is equal to number of D. So starting with the first question, Poisson automata for A and B M such that N is less than equal to M. That means we need to design a machine which would go to accept state if number of B is greater than number of A. The push operation will include all the A and push them in the stack. And the pop operation will start by popping all the elements on the stack. Now, the most important point is when the stack is empty, that means number of A have been popped by number of B, there should be at least one or more B on the tape. Why? Because number of B is more than number of A. Since the accept condition is that tape and stack both should be empty, so we need to remove all the extra B from the tape. So that means we will keep on reading number of B until and unless we get to last point of the tape that is delta. When the tape is empty, stack is empty, the move, machine moves to the accept state. So this is the machine for A and B M such that N is greater than M. We start reading from the first element of the tape which is A. We push it onto the stack. We have one A only and we have four B. So corresponding to the first B which is read on the tape, we perform a pop operation from read one to pop one. Now the stack is empty, but tape still has three B on the tape. So read is performed. When read is performed on the tape, we have B, whereas pop operation leads us to read three, that is delta because stack is empty. Now we come to next input on the tape, which is again B. See carefully here read 3 has a self loop of B. This self loop in itself indicates that we keep on reading without performing any push or pop operation on the tape. Next B again self loop of B on read 3. Once we come to the point where tape is empty that means we come across delta. The moment we come across delta we move to pop Two, that means stack is empty, so tape is empty, stack is empty and machine moves to the accept state. This is the complete trace for A and B M. Next we move to next question that is A and B M such that N is greater than M. Machine should go to accept state if number of A is greater than number of B. Push operation is performed for every A which is read on the tape, one symbol at a time. And the moment we come across B on the tape, pop operation begins. When the tape is empty, that means all the B have been read on the tape, there should be at least one or more A on the stack. Why? Because we are designing a machine for A and B M such that number of A is greater than number of B. Since we have pushed all A on the stack, so one or more extra A will be there on the stack. The condition for acceptance is stack and tape both should be empty. So we will have to pop all the elements on the stack in order to go to the accept state. We start with the first read. We push first A on the stack. Again, a read is performed. Second A is pushed on the stack. Corresponding to third A, push operation is performed. Now we have B on the tape. Pop operation is performed. And first A is popped from the stack. Now the stack has 2A left out whereas tape is empty at this point because we have reached delta. Corresponding to read 2 on delta, we move to pop 2. We again retrieve A from the stack. Now we have to pop all the A of the stack. So there is a self loop of A on pop 3. Once we have all the elements popped from the stack, stack is empty, tape was already empty, pop delta except. This is the complete trace for A and B M. Now we move to third question A and B N 
cm dm such that nm is greater than 1 that means number of a is equal to number of b and number of c is num equal to number of d we'll push all a and pop all b when we start with c the stack should be empty if the stack is empty that means number of a which were red is same as number of b which were red that means push all a pop all b likewise we will push all c on the stack and when d is red we will start popping all the c from the stack and when the tape is empty the stack should also be empty first we are performing a read operation first a we push it onto the stack we come across second a we push it onto the stack we push third a on the stack so we have pushed three a on the stack and now we are in read one and we come across b the moment we come across b we we start with the pop operation in this pop operation the pop for top element of the stack which is a we move to second b we pop second a from the stack we move to third b and we pop third b from the stack and we come to c we identify that right now the stack is empty moment we read a c we push that c on the stack and we move to read 3 in read 3 we come across d when we come across d we start pop operation and on pop we get a c of the stack so we move to read 4 state in read 4 state we come across delta that means tape is empty and stack is empty when the tape is empty and stack is empty we move to the except state we have checked a3 b3 c1 d1 successfully and move towards the except state and this is the complete trace for the machine thanks